now we're gonna get to making my ghost pepper hot sauce. So, all of my hot sauce recipes I make it myself. This is a new one I wanna try because I got a lot of ghost peppers. So we grab the blender and we'll get started. This is a ghost pepper hot sauce and all of my recipes I make it myself, so I have no idea if this is good or not, but we're gonna be using 14 ghost peppers for this hot sauce. What you wanna do with each one is you're gonna to wanna to take off the stem, throw that away, just kinda of half both ways, and then you're gonna chuck it in the blender here. Now, because we don't want it to be too spicy, we're gonna cut three of these normal peppers and then throw them in here. Bam, got the three peppers chopped up. I'm gonna throw it in here. Then after that, we're gonna chop up half an onion, put that in too, and then we'll do the vinegar and water. Half a cup distilled vinegar and three fourths cup water. So we're gonna go do those One very important thing when you're cooking with spicy foods, always wash your hands because if you touch the peppers, obviously it's going to get on you and stuff. So like wash them really well with soap and water before you move on to other stuff so you don't kind of move the spice around. Okay, so now we got everything in here now, my distilled vinegar, my water. We're using a little amount even though that we have so much stuff because then the mixture itself will basically be very concentrated and it will be, it will increase the amount of spice. I actually am going to put one more fourth of vinegar in here, uh, just because of how much stuff it is, I want to make sure that there's enough vinegar to make sure that it lasts a long time. In addition to that, I'm going to be putting one teaspoon of salt in and a half teaspoon of pepper in. So we have my whole mixture here, and the next thing that we do, throw it on your blender, and you want to blend it up for at least like two minutes, preferably close to five, because the more blended up you have, the more liquid you'll be able to extract out of the peppers themselves and the onions. I finished grinding it up. I definitely ground it up for about three minutes, I would say. Let's take that off, and I'll check this out. Okay, you know, it's not too bad, it's not too bad. And see, so this part right here is your pepper extract. That's gonna give you a lot of nice juices. And underneath is, right now, the actual juice. So, what I always like to do is I like to give a little taste to this pepper stuff. So this is the, the straight peppers. It's traditionally way spicier than what the actual hot sauce is. But I always try it because I feel like this gives you also the most accurate representation of what the flavors will taste like later on when the hot sauce is done. So let's give it a try. And after we give it a try, what we do is we're going to pour this in a pot on the stove and we're going to heat it up. And that basically helps dissolve this kind of stuff because it's kind of a, it's a weird substance right now, but it can melt a little bit, if that makes sense. I don't know, but it kind of happens. You'll see. Let's try. Wow. Wow, that is. Whoa. Oh mm, my god, that is... Whoa, that is... Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Okay, that was a... Uh... That was a lot. Wow, that, that one that I just made, the, the complete peppers, pepper part. So this top layer of stuff is definitely up there. So let's heat it up, then bottle it. Okay, so it hasn't even been too long. The peppers and the water have already started to combine very well. We're gonna leave it sitting there and mixing it in for a little bit longer. Now, I'm gonna take it off the stove for a second. What I always do is I put it right in the center and you just let it sit here for a little bit. And I like to take it off the stove, so just that itself has no real effect. And we just see, and remember, I said I like to try to get it up to 160, or about 120, so 
we're gonna put it back in, keep it on a little longer. Okay, so I know that it, so I know this is done by the consistency of it. As you can see, it's a nice liquidy substance with still a couple chunks. So I then take it off my heat. And what I do, which I actually don't think you need to do, but I don't know why I do it. I let it sit here and cool. So I wait until it's completely cooled down and then I'm gonna bottle it all up. So I don't really know why I do that, but I do. Um, I'll come back to you when I'm ready to get bottled. And then after that, we're gonna check in when the hot sauce is ready to put in the hot sauce bottles and then ready to try. So I'll see you then. So it's been 10 days actually since I first bottled this. I was originally going to leave it for five, but I kind of just didn't have the time, so I let it sit. And that's something that's completely fine because that just means the juices are going to get a little spicier. So what you're going to need is some cheesecloth here, and you're going to just want to cut yourself a nice piece of this. And I always like to also use a strainer in addition because I really like to make sure that the juice is very well strained out. So I have my, my cheesecloth. I'm gonna set it here inside the strainer, and then obviously I need something to hold it. I'm just using a measuring cup. And then you just take, you just gotta open up your can and dump it in. Right now it's just draining it out. You're gonna let it sit there for a while, and then afterwards you're gonna, you're then gonna squeeze the rest of the juice out. Okay, so this is just the first set that I showed you. I squeezed out as much as I could, and this is just, you know, some of the pepper extract. We're going to put some of this back in when we're actually done bottling it. After you get as much as you think you can, take it out, and you want to put it in a different container for later, uh, when you're going to then put it in your bottles. So, I actually had to bottle some of it already. I'm calling it Death by Dylan. Um... And the only reason I had to bottle some of it already was because it was getting too close to my strainer and everything. Probably going to have to do that again soon. Um, but, you know, you just, you just pour it in a funnel. And then you're going to grab a little bit of this. And a little bit of this stuff, however much you still want. And you're going to go however much of, like, the pepper ac extract, in a sense, you still want. And then you're going to shove it in the bottle, too. I'll come back when I put the rest in bottles, and then I'll give it a try, and I'll tell you all how it tastes. So all the hot sauce is done and bottled now, and I just want to give it a try now and see what it's actually going to be like when it's finished and sitting for um, all 10 days. So I'm going to put a little bit on a spoon here and give it a try. This one's not coming out too well. There we go. Now it's coming. Okay. Wow, that is, that's just as, that's almost just as spicy as, um, wow, as the, uh, as the straight, uh, pepper stuff that I tried. But it, but it's really good. I like the flavor. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you liked it, definitely drop a like and subscribe if you want to see more from me. Peace out.